Hey guys, what's up? The man, the myth, the legend, Quad MFT here, bringing you a 6v6 team deathmatch P90 MOAB on one of my favorite maps, Lockdown. Now, I started on this streak a little bit late into the game, but as you know, this probably is going to be about the gameplay. I actually do have a very heavy topic, and a topic that's been requested multiple times, even by myself. I've actually requested myself to do it multiple times and tried over and over to try and get this commentary right, because I know this is going to be a big video on my channel, and will hopefully reign and be very, very popular. Now, I'm going to be talking to you guys about myself. Now, most people constantly talk about themselves in their commentaries, and I know it gets a little bit annoying and very, very annoying fast, but this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be talking about why I am here. What I mean by that is why I'm here making commentaries, why I'm here having all this high-quality equipment when I'm only 13, trying to make videos to entertain people on the Internet, of all places on the Internet. Now, I'm here because I love this. What I mean by this is I'm here because I love speaking, I'm here because I love gaming, I love playing Call of Duty, I love entertaining. Many of you guys have heard me say that before. Entertaining has always been something that I've always strived to do better at. My family has been very, very into it. I've had a lot of speakers in my family, drama actors, a lot of singers now. The reason I didn't want to become any of those is because most of those aren't really original now, therefore there has never been another gameplay commentator in my family that I actually know of, and I'm pretty sure there won't be for quite some time, so I wanted to be different. So that's what happened. And another reason why I'm here is because I'm very, very hardworking. I try and do and strive to do the best that I possibly can at anything, whether it be a sport, whether it be homework, whether it be gameplay commentating, or whether it be doing a live commentary, a let's play, whatever it is, I try to do my best I possibly can at it. Now, I don't give up on stuff. I'm very, very extremely stubborn. Many people my size, my channel size, maybe how many views they get per day around that size, you guys know what I mean by that have been quitting. They've been giving up. They've been closing their channel, which in my opinion, closing your channel at any point in time is very, very stupid because you never really know. You can't tell the future if you're going to want to come back and if you're going to want to be under the same size of subscribers or under the, even the fact the same name. That's just a bad decision in any YouTube career. But like I said, I've also loved speaking. Speaking is something I've tried in many different places. I've done voiceovers, and I'm only 13, and I've had this voice since I was about 11 or 11 and a half. And you guys might be saying, that's, that's stupid. No way. I don't believe you, Quad or Caleb. That's really not true. But it really is, guys. I've had this voice for quite some time. I've actually been blessed with it. I love having this voice. It gets, it, you know, it gets the ladies, guys. <laughs> it definitely does. It works. It's magic. But also my choices have le led me here. Whether I don't do this article of homework, whether I quit this sport, whether I quit this team, whatever team or sport it is, I've given most of it up to work on my YouTube channel. Now, you may say, that's a really stupid decision, but again, I'm only 13, and I try to make the best life decisions I possibly can, and I love doing this, like I said before, I absolutely love this. I would, wouldn't rather do anything in the world than be making YouTube videos now. That may sound a little bit nerdy, but honestly, guys, it's the truth. Now, back in the Modern Warfare 2 days is when I started up not making videos. Actually, I just started up making videos in January of Modern Warfare 3 of 2012 also. I would just sit back and I would watch commentators on my iPod Touch. I would mainly be watching White Boy 7 Street. He was the first YouTuber I ever watched and now probably the biggest Call of Duty YouTube channel around. And then I also started watching Blame Truth. Now, I still watch these commentators a lot. Now, most people have gotten a past White Boy 7 Street, but I still find his videos very, very entertaining and funny overall because he does put a lot of effort into them. And he makes me think of someone who brought himself out of the ghetto, which he did. And I also plan to stay in this YouTube and Call of Duty gaming community. It's something that I hope to be able to stay in a lot for a very, very long time now. I'm not promising that I will, but I would love to promise maybe in the future when I get a little bit larger in the YouTube community, maybe even in the overall gaming community, because if you guys haven't noticed recently, I've been uploading a lot of different games. Right there, I pick up the MOAB and I call it in immediately. But... I've actually sacrificed a lot for you guys, and I hope you guys are looking forward to what I'm able to bring to you guys in the future. You can leave a like down below, and you can also comment. Comments are very, very highly appreciated. You can subscribe for more, guys. Always with the victory. It's been Quad MFT. Thank you guys for watching guys this video. Time. And on the left, you'll be able to click on my most recent Weird Weapon Wednesday, a series that I have going on every single Wednesday. And on the right, you'll be able to click on a mystery video, which is a randomized video that of the week I have chosen. So if you guys like this video, you'll definitely want to be clicking on that. It's been Quad MFT and I'll see you guys next time.